So today we're going back, taking a backtrack down memory lane, and we are taking a look at, I want to say, probably one of my favorite, favorite game modes of all time. And not only that, this was like the official announcement, what hyped it up, what I fell in love with originally when I first heard about this game mode called Survival. Yes, and I just want you guys to watch this with me. We're going to be reacting to it. It's been a while, and I'm telling you guys, this right here is what I wish we would have got for the Division 2. And I know it never came, and I don't know if they ever have plans on it or if a standalone will ever come. We just don't know. But this right here, 100%, if it had a standalone, would be amazing. So we're going to hit play, and let's listen to it together. Man. In the Division's new survival expansion, you've got it bad. One hour to live. One hour to live. Bare Eight. bones gear. One lousy gun. And did I mention it's cold as outside? Welcome to Survival, the boss fight against the disaster that took down a city. We need this! All of your experience exploring, scavenging, evading, crafting, and fighting matters now because everything matters now. Survival sets up some of the most taut, thrilling action the Division has to offer, and there's no level requirement. Exactly. Everyone starts out on equal footing. And each time you play, it's a new story, a new challenge, a new chance to, oh, dang it, I was so close. That's why Agent I love it. Terminated. Exactly what he just said. Oh, Everything what's this? Happened. Hello, loot. <laughs> okay, loot let's sucks. run it again. <laughs> there are a few key ways that survival is the division like you've never played it before. And the first is the weather. The blustery winter has turned murderous, and as soon as you step out of your hideout, you start to freeze to death. If your body temperature plunges low enough, your health will drain away. The encroaching frost is so cold and sinister that when you finally find a fire or shelter to warm you up, the relief is palpable. The blizzard doesn't just change how the city looks and feels, it also changes how you move through the city. Exactly. At first, you can only move in furtive runs between heat sources. But as you find and craft clothing items, you can make longer forays into the storm. This progression makes you feel like you're mastering your conditions. Exactly. You need to scour the city for clothing, gear, and guns, and you need to do it fast, because if you don't get into the dark zone, find the antiviral cache, and extract within an hour, the green poison will kill you. Though you can treat your infection with medicine and delay the countdown to your demise, you can't stop it. You are dying. The pressure of time is always there in survival, spurring you onward and making every choice matter. Because every choice you make costs time. Time is your most precious resource, so you need to be efficient. You spawn in a random location and can't count on being near the same landmarks every time, but you need to find loot. Shelters and helicopter crash sites appear on your map and usually have the goods, but they also appear on everyone else's map. Competition for resources is fierce, even in PvE matches. But here's where your street savvy comes in handy. Being able to spot ladders will help you discover rooftop stashes. And recognizing an area that usually houses a group of enemies can lead you to a fight and a valuable cache. Any geographical knowledge you've gathered from your hours in the division pays off in survival. And you'll be surprised how much you remember. Building your knowledge from run to run is key because the true challenge of survival is pacing yourself. You need to move quickly, but not so quickly that you miss valuable loot. You need to move towards the dark zone to pursue your objective and find higher level items, but not before you're ready to take on higher level enemies. You need to fight enemies to get weapons and gear, but evading combat and spending time elsewhere could be more worthwhile. You need to craft mission critical items, but you can craft a lot more if you've got the resources and the time. Every survival attempt is a different story of exactly. you versus the disaster. Make different. enough good decisions and you'll find yourself at an extraction zone, ready to head home with all that loot, but not before you face a deadly new threat. One trained in the art of taking down agents, the hunter. Hunters are very mobile enemies who use cover and healing abilities to make themselves very hard to kill. They also disrupt your skills and wield powerful weapons, trying very hard to kill you. And when they do, you're just one more trophy on a hunter's belt. They both die. If you succeed, the glory of victory and the riches of extracted caches are yours. If you fall short, well, you could still earn a fair few loot crates based on how well you did. 
The loot is good. It's real good. But the best part of survival is how it shows you the division in a whole new light. That's this is I an engaging about. and electrifying new mode. And if you've ever enjoyed playing the division, you owe it to yourself to take on survival. Exactly. Survival is available all the now time. for the Xbox One and PC and comes out on December 20th for the PlayStation 4. For tips on how to survive, hit me up on Twitter at CT Waters. And for more on The Division and all of Ubisoft's games, stay tuned to this YouTube channel and visit us at the Ubi blog. And that's why I tell people all the time, honestly. I, I tell them, let's lower this down a little bit because I think it's over. I tell them all the time that this mode right here was just so unique. And if you've never played it, and you have the division two, sorry, division one, and you, or you want to pick up the division one and think about trying it out. This mode just brings a whole new light on what I always thought the division one was when I first saw it, when I first heard about the division. I thought it was like this: you start with nothing, you'd have to like loot for stuff and then work your way up, right? And I thought when I first heard about the division two, it was something like on these aspects, but. Once I saw Survival, I knew that was always going to be a game mode that I really liked, and, and I ended up falling real in love with it. Um, you guys see that I do stream it on the other channel. So if you guys want to check this bad boy out, please do, man. Holy, let's leave a thumbs up for the good vibes, and maybe one day we will see a standalone version of this. Maybe one day we will see the Survival re resurrected from the ashes. Um, I know there's still people who still play it, but I'm telling you guys, still one of my favorite game modes of all times to play Woo. Oh, memory lanes hopefully you guys try it out if not catch me on my next survival stream on the main channel i'll see you guys around a hey, nothing but skills out take it easy everybody